Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain closed loop control system with great clarity. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you the outlines of this video. In this video, I will discuss about block diagram, applications, advantages and disadvantages of closed loop system. So let us start this video with first agenda that is block diagram of closed loop system. First of all, one should know what is control system. See in control system, we give input and based on input, system generates desired output. If you see the detailed block diagram of closed loop control system, then in that here we provide input and here we obtain desired output. Now let me compare block diagram of closed loop control system with open loop control system. See in open loop control system, input was given to controller and then control signal that we were been giving it to plant and then we were been having output. Here with closed loop control system, we have two additional elements. First is this feedback that we take it from output and here second is this adder subtractor element. So this element that could be adder or subtractor. If this element is adder, then error signal is input plus feedback signal. And as if this element is subtractor, then this error signal that will be input minus feedback signal. So here controller that is taking control action and control action that is based on error signal. With open loop system, control action was based on input signal. Now, in closed loop control system, control action that is based on error signal and error signal that is a combination of input and output. See, error signal that is a combination of input and feedback. Feedback is based on output. So, one can say action of controller that is based on input and output. That's why now with this system, we will be having higher accuracy compared to open loop system, right? So now you need to note down those basic points. See with closed loop system, we have a feedback. So here we have a feedback from output, you can observe. With closed loop control system, here controller is generating controlled signal, you can observe with the information of error signal, right? Previously with open loop system, controller was generating controlled signal with the information of input. But with closed loop control system, controller is taking actions based on error signal right which is a combination of input as well as output right in closed loop control system control action is depending on input and output of the plant why it is depending on input and output of the plant the reason is here controller that is taking input as a error signal which is a combination of input and feedback and feedback is depending on output right that's why this control system with closed loop system that is having higher accuracy because of feedback. Now I'll discuss about applications of closed loop control system. See with closed loop control system, one of the popular application could be air conditioner. Let me explain how. See in your room, if you turn on AC and let us assume right now, you are setting temperature to 26 degrees Celsius. So what will happen? Your AC is getting turned on and then that air conditioner that will be throwing cool air inside your room. Let us assume right now room temperature is 28 degrees Celsius. So AC will be on and it will try to cool your room. Once room temperature reaches to 26 degrees Celsius, then AC is getting off automatically. And if temperature increases slightly above 26 degrees Celsius, then again AC is getting turned on. So AC is getting turned on and turned off automatically and it is maintaining 26 degrees Celsius temperature inside your room. By getting turned on and turned off automatically, it is saving power, right? So nowadays inverter ACs that we use it in 2024 and based on turned on and turned off operation, 
it will be saving power right so that is because of closed loop system see here one more example is there that is water level controller see here we have two different modes manual and auto in manual mode manually you can fill this tank see here we have a tank and here we have a reservoir with reservoir we are connecting motor if you have manual operation then that is open loop system where in manual operation if you turn on this motor then you will be filling this tank over here manually that is open loop system but in auto mode what happens is as if water level of tank that goes below threshold then automatically it is turning this motor on and it will fill this tank from this reservoir right so in open loop system manually we give signal that is input but in auto mode because of feedback feedback is coming from output so if level of water that is going below threshold then it is giving signal to motor and then motor is getting turned on and then from reservoir we fill this tank right so that is how two applications that i have shown there could be many applications right now let me discuss about advantages and disadvantages of closed loop control system see closed loop control system is accurate even in the presence of non linearities one should know closed loop control systems are always accurate compared to open loop control system the reason is with open loop control system control actions of controller is there with respect to input while with closed loop control system control actions of controller that is there with respect to error signal and error signal is a combination of input and feedback that's why always accuracy is higher with closed loop system right see closed loop systems that is having higher accuracy in the presence of error as well as if any error arises then that error can be eliminated based on feedback in closed loop system right so closed loop systems are accurate even if an error arises see closed loop system is having large bandwidth one should know closed loop system is having large bandwidth and lower gain while with open loop system we have smaller bandwidth and higher gain right see closed loop system facilitates automation so for automation closed loop systems are very essential right see closed loop systems are less sensitive to disturbances why it is less sensitive to disturbances the reason is gain of closed loop system is always lower that's why sensitivity of closed loop system is always lower compared to open loop system see closed loop system that is less affected by noise the reason is there is a feedback and because of feedback gain of system is decreasing and sensitivity is also decreasing so as if any noise is generated that can be eliminated due to feedback over here right see closed loop system is having better adaptability the reason is control action is there with respect to input and feedback or one can say with respect to input and output so based on input and output here control actions are taken which leads to higher adaptability now let me discuss about disadvantages see closed loop control systems are costly and complex as i have explained with open loop control system we have minimum blocks but with closed loop control system we have feedback as well as we have adder subtractor element so there is a complexity in system that's why it is costly see feedback may make system unstable in future coming videos i'll be explaining you feedback in which i will explain how feedback may make system unstable right now consider due to feedback there is a possibility of unstable system with closed loop system right see feedback reduces overall gain of the system that even i'll explain in future coming videos how gain is decreasing because of feedback that we will see it in future coming videos see closed loop system that requires more maintenance the reason is we have complex system right and response of the system that is slower with closed loop system so this is all about advantages and disadvantages 
I hope you have enjoyed this video. Still, if any confusion is there, just post that in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.